Hello everyone, I'm Geek Freak and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Animation Rewinds or Rewind Rumble's video, Hulk vs Godzilla. So if you guys haven't seen this video, go and watch that video first. As soon as you've done that, come back watch me watch this. So let's, let's continue. Okay, this is going to be interesting because it's Godzilla versus the incredible freaking Hulk. I mean, this is a match made in heaven. I mean, is is the thing, is the thing. Even though the Hulk's like tiny compared to Godzilla. I mean, we all know how powerful the Hulk is. He is very, very powerful. Excuse me. And Godzilla can e easily regenerate. In fact, hold on. Both of these characters can easily regenerate and, and, can, and continue fighting. Godzilla is extremely powerful. In fact, hold on. Uh, from, from what I saw in the, in the trailers uh, you know, to, to this fight, it, the animation looks superb. I mean, kudos to whoever made the made the animation. I mean, I haven't seen I haven't seen the old thing. I just only seen like seen the trailers. So, um, the, the Hulk versus Godzilla. <laughs> this sounds freaking awesome. So, who do I think would win in a fight between these two? Well, um, I like I like both characters. If I had to choose which one I think would win, I think okay. This it depends on which Hulk he's actually using because I mean there's. A Hulk that's immortal. There's a World Breaker Hulk. There's um, movie Hulk. I mean, there's like all all different versions of Hulk. In in, in a actually, you know what? The the, the, the best thing that you, you could actually do is like get the strongest version of the Hulk versus the strongest version of Godzilla. Excuse excuse me. Uh, I'm a bit hungry. Sorry about that. Anyways, yes, uh, that was embarrassing. Uh, oh, it's 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 hard it's hard to say. I mean, you know, there's like strong version of strong. There's strong. There's the strongest version of Godzilla. There's the strongest version. I mean, I mean, it could it could it could easily go like you know where either way because both can regenerate. Both are very powerful. It's it, I mean the Hulk gets stronger stronger. Uh, I'll say it again. The Hulk gets stronger as he like you know gets more angry, and God, Godzilla. I mean he can he can take on an asteroid without flinching. And uh, that's one of the things. It's very, very difficult to say. Saying that, um, I don't, I don't, I don't think, um, I don't think the ato atomic breath would do anything. I'm not really sure. I mean, it, this is this is a, a matchup that's um, that's fun, but at the same time, it's kind of difficult to, to see what I mean. Godzilla is very, very big, and it's hard to take down because you you need, you need to like, destroy every single cell in order to defeat him. And uh, the Hulk is pre is pretty much the same. And he can like regenerate when, when you've um, you know, like get get him a good get him a good smack around and all that stuff. I mean, he can he can regenerate from like um, I'm not really sure if he can like regenerate to the from the smallest cell, but um, it would take a lot for it would take a lot for the Hulk to take the Godzilla down. So I actually think that Godzilla is going to win this one simply because, well, I mean, you need to destroy every single cell in order to defeat defeat uh, Godzilla. So yeah. Even though the Hulk is very powerful, and you know it, it would take like a very long time for him to uh, you know, destroy Godzilla, I think uh, Godzilla is going to take this one, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I, I do I do like the Hulk. Don't get me wrong. I just I just think um, you know from what what I know from what I can gather from this fight, I actually think that Godzilla is going to win this one. Even though I like the Hulk. Um. So uh, yeah, <laughs> with all that said and done, let's get to watching. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, just get this up. Okay, so this is about 14, 14 minutes and 30 seconds long. So this is Godzilla versus the Hulk. Well, the Hulk versus Godzilla. A rewind rumble. And three, two, one, and. Go! Oh, this is gonna be fun.
Ooh. That looks awesome. Two monsters, both misunderstood, fueled by radiation, motivated on strong emotion, and roamed with pure power. The Incredible Hulk and Godzilla, one of Earth's mightiest heroes versus the King of Monsters. If you were forced to piss one of these guys off, who would you rather be angry? Hulk or Godzilla? It's a tough question. That is a tough question. Man, the Hulk's really beginning. <laughs> this is a difficult question. Okay. Okay, see. Okay, Godzilla's got power. Hulk's... Okay. Yep, thought so. Durability, Godzilla. Oh, crap. You see Bruce Banner, blah blah blah, super strength, gamma charge, blah blah blah, thunderclap, extreme durability, G cell regeneration, extreme strength, nuclear pulse. Yeah, see, I, I told you, see, look. Okay, okay so, uh, Ogg's got the strength. Um, but both, both, they've both got like the same sort of speed. Mess it, hold on. Really? Um. <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> okay, so in power, um, Godzilla, Godzilla wins. Fighting skill. Oh, I just. The Hulk's got more agility than Godzilla. Where's um? Where's the Hulk's regeneration? <laughs> True. Okay, so in factor. See, told ya. Um, that's actually a very very tough question because um, pissing both of these two off would um, it is a disaster in itself. Oh, make me, me God's like, come, come up from from the sand like, like in that like in that one movie. I think it was like the second movie or third movie. I can't remember which one it was. This is going to be a tough one. 
I mean, seriously, who would you, who would you piss off? I mean, both of them are both, both by noose. I think I would go with um, um, the Hulk. At the very least, you've got a chance of like, trying to calm him down. But with Godzilla, I mean, what, what can you do against the, against the Godzilla? Dude, that looks awesome. Seriously, what, what can the Hulk actually do against so, that like that? It's it's a freak, he's a freaking monster. The Godzilla's gonna win this one. Oh! Woo! This is gonna be awesome. Come on, Hulk. Come on, Hulk. Come on. Okay, what? Well, he, he can't live. He, oh crap! He he can! He can! He he did it! Oh, what's he gonna do? He's gonna. What? The? Uh, I, th I thought he was gonna. Oh! Ouch! <sighs> Come on, Hulk! I I'm I'm moving for the Hulk. Come on, Hulk! He's clearly the underdog here, dude. If I if I saw Godzilla like that, I would I would um, run up oil. I mean, who who, who thought this was going to be a good fight? Because I mean, this is a freaking a freaking excellent idea. What the hell? You suck. If you enjoyed that animation, then special thanks to Team Enemy. Oh no, 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 no. Like to quickly shout out the Pigeon Return Studios and Detail Video Productions for providing notes for the game on both characters. I like the Hulk. The animation is extremely expensive and hard to pull off. So if you want to go above and beyond it, it would it, it, it would have been awesome if it was like Saitama versus a Hulk. I mean yeah, no um I know animation reruns already done that before but I mean that those those two are perfect together. I'm a mania. Okay, here we go. Travel speed bubble. Action time blah blah blah. True. I see durability, so black, black hole, blah blah blah. Both include dodging and or blocking lightning. Yes, Hulk is far faster when it comes to the black hole, but in this case it might not matter since Godzilla has plenty of range. Hedge, Hulk, Hulk. This includes his atomic breath, red spiral, wait a minute, hold on. And seismic waves he can form from stomping. For power and durability, they both have a number of black hole related feats. Hulk had the power to support the weight of a star. This this is this is a, a very close one. Godzilla outblasted an artificial black hole and destroyed the entire planet once just from his atomic breath alone. Damn. Atomic breath isn't even his strongest attack. Hulk has a what, what is his strongest attack? They both have been seen lifting mountains, but we've seen Hulk crack planets from his punches. Godzilla has only caused earthquakes from pure striking strength. He has busted way better things like planets and black holes. Those were products of power feats, not strength feats. As for intelligence, sure. Bruce Banner could be argued as smarter than Godzilla, but the That's true. himself acts more so out of emotions and blind rages. It's kind of like an SJW. But it wouldn't even matter due to Godzilla's experience edge. Godzilla's EXP level wipes the floor with Hulk. Godzilla has been around for millions of years. That's true. Hulk has only seen a few decades worth of combat experience. Okay, so Wait a minute. But his travel speed edge, but there is one X factor in this entire thing that Hulk would have no answer for, and that's the regeneration. See, the regeneration. Hulk respectively have a couple of regeneration feats, but Godzilla's is second to none. Hulk has reverted back to Bruce far more times than Godzilla has lost every I, I, knew, I knew the, 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 the I knew the re, the regeneration would would, would um, come into this. Help, 
special magic or some type of whacked up circumstance that just wouldn't apply if he was all on his own. I, I, knew, I knew Godzilla would, would win. It's it's a it's a it's a close call, but um, it's it, it's that it's thanks it's thanks to that regeneration of, of Godzilla that um that 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 to help him. I mean, is this even the strongest version of of the Hulk? But can he catch him? Oh, ouch. What about the strongest version of Hulk? The only way to find out the answer to these questions is to like this video. If this video gets 3,000 likes, such a rematch with preparation would be put into production, and we will factor all of these possibilities. Also, don't forget to comment down your own ideas, don't forget to download the free Animation Rewind app, and stay tuned as the next fighters are going to be revealed. Okay. And it's gonna be oh, Gar versus Top. Okay, so it's I know who's gonna win this one. Okay, what? Now, Avatar. Uh, I'm calling it now. Now, Naruto wins this one. Not, be not because I'm like a huge Naruto fan, but seriously, <coughs> if it's like you know, like um, like like part one Naruto, then you know may may maybe um, you know you know it would be like more equal. But when it's like uh, part two Naruto, yeah. Uh, hello, Miss Kitty. <laughs> um. I, 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 you know, like, again, if it's like part one Naruto, then it might be like evenly matched, maybe. But um, part two, yeah, Naruto would totally win. The Hulk, Hulk smash. Okay, I'm, right, I'm just gonna like, um, I'm gonna continue talking while, uh, while this is going. This is actually pretty awesome. Okay, so uh, yeah, I, I totally saw that coming. I mean, did, didn't, didn't I say? I mean, okay, so I definitely think that the, the, the. Uh, the Godzilla would would uh, win, and all because of his like uh, his uh, regeneration. So yeah, <laughs> you can hear him from there. Uh, I will say this: it was a close matchup. But if it, if it, you know if, if Bruce Banner had some some two Godzilla's like regeneration, then yeah they could have gone like this for, like for ages and ages and ages. So um, oh what what can, what can I what can I suggest? Okay. There's one fight I want to. Uh, there's one fight I would like to um, see, and that is Super Saiyan God Goku versus Super Saiyan 4 uh, Vegito. Now, <clears throat> I'm not talking about like you know super like oh it's gonna be like Super Saiyan. Okay, five seconds. Um, I'm I'm not saying it's gonna be um, Vegito from GT. I'm not, I'm not talking about that because I mean <coughs> G GT G GT uh, Goku and GT Vegito is the with the fusion with Super Saiyan 4 would be. You know, be miles ahead. Ed. I mean, like miles and miles and miles ahead. Now, <clears throat> I'm talking about um, S Super Saiyan God Goku and Super Saiyan Four Goku inside the uh, the Beerus saga. Let's just say, like, yo, know, Goku had like Super Saiyan Four in in um, in, in the Beerus saga, N not from GT, but let's just say he got from from uh, no, let's just say that Goku had Super Saiyan Four in uh, in, in the Beerus saga at, at the beginning, and um, you know. And Goku lost against Beerus, which he obviously would. And remember, this is this is not GT. This is Dragon Ball Super. If Goku had Super Saiyan Four, now obviously he would lose, 
you know, because you know, okay, like you know, Dragon Ball Super Goku with Super Saiyan 4 and Super Saiyan 4 in, with Goku in GT are two similar ones, the two diff entirely different power, power scaling. So, uh, Super Saiyan 4 GT Goku would obviously obviously win against Super Saiyan for uh, Dragon Ball Super Goku. I mean, okay, there's no Dragon Ball Super Goku, no Dragon Ball Super Super Saiyan 4 Goku, obviously, but let's just say. Go, Go, Goku had Super Saiyan 4 in uh, Dragon Ball Super, and you know obviously he would lose against uh, Beerus. And he says, "I want, uh, I'll have to, I'll have to perform fusion with with uh, Vegeta again t in order to defeat him." And v Goku says, "No, I don't even think that would. Um, <coughs> I don't think I don't. I say it again. I don't even think that would uh, do enough against uh, Beerus." Now the thing is, Goku said it. Goku said that not even a fusion would be able to defeat Beerus because. Goku had Super Goku had Super Saiyan four. <coughs> Sorry, no, I'll say it again. Super Saiyan three, when he went up against Beerus, and Goku said that not not even Fusion would be able to defeat Beerus. So we can assume that he means a Super Saiyan three Vegito. That's that's what we that's what we can assume. Now, um, let's just say if Goku had um, Super Super Saiyan four Vegito, uh, obviously you know, Beerus went, went against him. Um, it's it's assumed that Super Saiyan Four is mu no. I'll say it again. Super Saiyan God is much more powerful than a Super Saiyan Three Vegito. But can a Super Saiyan uh, God Goku beat a Super Saiyan Four Vegito? I mean, uh, I mean, what, what what do you guys think? I mean, even 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 though uh, we haven't like seen like these two fights, it is implied that Super Saiyan God Goku is much more powerful than Super Saiyan uh, Three Vegito. But can a Super Saiyan Four Vegito? Win against a Super Saiyan God Goku, or or vice versa. I mean, who would win in a fight between that, between the, these two? I mean, that's the one thing I'd like to know. Or uh, oh, is or oh, isn't the other one? What about um, the Leprechaun from the Leprechaun? Well, obviously that. And uh, Jack Frost, the the Killer Snowman. Well, it, it's the Leprechaun versus Jack Frost, the Killer Snowman. I would like to, I'd like to see those two fight. That that'd be awesome. A magical creature versus a a. Excuse me. Versus a uh, a, a, a scientific uh, accident like Jack Frost. I mean, he can, he can like regenerate from steam, water. Um, he can spit out like little monster things. I mean, he's uh he's pretty hard to put down. Uh, there's uh, Gremlins versus Critters. I mean, that that's a, that's a good uh, fight to go up against. Uh, what else is there? There's um oh, what about the Triffids versus zombies? I mean, it can be like any sort of zombies. Um, sprinters, um, acid sugars, intelligent ones, and anything. The triffids are basically um, plants that can move about and sting, sting, uh, sting you and um, eat your life. So they're kind of, it's it's kind of like um, you've got like Day of the Triffids and you've got like not Night of the Living Dead. I mean, it's a, it's it's that would be an awesome fight. I mean, there's there was like a game for that and not and everything. So um, e uh, what what about what about this? What about the Giver versus um, Iron Man or the Giver versus uh, Venom. That that would be awesome to see. If you don't know what uh, the Giver is, please go and check it out. It's um, bio bio. Uh, I can't remember the name, but um, look up the word Giver. I mean, uh, Giver is a is a is a very good series. I I recommend it. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's me all done. So if if there's anything you guys want me to interact with, just leave in the comment section below, and I will get to the video as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Thank you guys for watching, and if there's a series you want me to check out, and review, and give my thoughts on it, or if there's a top 10 list you want me to do, or any reactions, or responses, or rants on anything geeky, just leave links and comments in the comment sections below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And if you guys want to follow me on my social medias, I'm on Minds.com, Twitch, Dailymotion, and Hatron, Reddit, BitChoot, aka the new YouTube, DeviantHeart, Discord, Vidme, Gab, Twitter, Tumblr, Patreon, GoFundMe, PayPal, and my other social medias are down there in the description box below. So if you want to go and check them out, please do. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video. And please go and check out my new skeptic channel, Gypsy Freak. It's also down there in the description box below. Peace out.